winds are like seismicity is basically a sudden motion of earth crust caused by abrupt release of energy that is stored in rocks and earthquakes are common on all three types of planetary boundary layer or sorry plate boundary that is convergent plate boundary divergent plate boundary or conservative so all sort of plate tectonics leads to earthquake then for example like we have St. Andreas Fault in California and USA and it's an example of conservative motion of plate boundary which leads to then we have earthquake motion which is caused by quick release of stored potential energy into kinetic energy of motion so that could also happen now let's see the causes of earthquake or seismicity so one of the most prominent causes plate tectonic earthquake so according to the plate tectonic theory the movement of lithosphere plate over the asthenosphere like when lithosphere asthenosphere moves over each other and the collision of plate with each other cause seismicity and maximum amount of seismic events or earthquake take place through this route only on the earth's surface then we have a very important place which is ring of fire in pacific ocean where almost two third or more than 66 percent of the seismicity occurs or seismic events occur earthquake so this question is very important and have been asked that ring of fire is a zone located in pacific ocean which causes almost 66 percent of the seismic events due to convergent plate boundary so this is very important to be highlighted that ring of fire in Pacific Ocean is the place where maximum earthquake takes place and this happens due to convergent plate boundary. Then the other cause of the earthquake or seismicity is volcanic eruption. So whenever volcano erupt, it is always associated with a seismicity because we see the large amount of material is emitted which is referred to as lava. On the earth's surface which finally leads to land subsidence and hence leads to seismicity then the other reason could other reason for the earthquake or the seismicity could be giant landslides like what we see in Uttarakhand or Uttarkashi that could be the cause of one of the heavy earthquake then underground nuclear bomb test or these nuclear bomb developmental tests could be responsible for earthquake for example there are a lot of nuclear bomb events testing events which leads to earthquake then earthquake could also occur due to meteorotic impact but these events are generally insignificant like we see very less earthquake which happens due to the meteorotic impact also a sudden change or a sudden change in arrangement sudden change in the arrangement of atoms in mineral of rocks can also cause as earthquake so a sudden change in the arrangement of atoms in minerals of rocks can also cause as earthquake now we will be studying in detail the types of earthquake so on the basis so here we have shown a diagram where you can see we have focus which is basically the point inside the earth surface from where the earthquake origin originate or we call it as point of origin of earthquake then exactly 90 degree to this focus we have a point on the surface of earth which is referred to as epicenter so we have two points basically important point in earthquake one is focus which is the point of origin of earthquake inside the earth exactly 90 degree to this focus and the surface of earth we have epicenter right and the depth between the epicenter and the focus is very important here so on the basis of distance between the focus which is the point of origin of earthquake and the epicenter the point which is vertically above the focus exactly at right angle sorry 
so these are the some of the effects of earthquake then we have mitigation like how we can mitigate tsunami so we can plant mangrove trees for the mitigation of tsunami which have long root system which can hold the water and we can strictly implement the CRZ which is coastal regulatory zone rules and regulation which have been mentioned in EIA in the supplementary book coastal regulatory zone regulations so in this series we have an instrument which is called as seismograph so what do you mean by seismograph so seismograph is basically a device that records seismic waves that comes out of seismogram so is is basically a device that records the seismic waves due to earthquake and the recording is referred to as seismograph sorry seismogram basically plots seismic waves and these seismic waves are generally body wave which are p wave and s wave respectively primary wave and secondary waves and we have surface wave which is l wave and r wave that is love wave and relay wave so these are the waves which the seismogram records now we will be talking in detail about the intensity and magnitude of earthquake which is very important parameter generally they ask a question from this zone right so intensity and magnitude are basically the two method of measuring the strength of the earthquake that any of the earthquake can be measured with respect to either magnitude or strength right magnitude or intensity the magnitude is measured in Richter scale so basically generally whenever we measure the magnitude of an earthquake it is measured in terms of Richter scale and it measures the seismic energy right so it generally measures the seismic energy that how much energy is there right and the intensity is a measure of damage which is caused by the earthquake and is generally measured in Mercoli scale so you can simply see that the magnitude is measured in Richter scale which measures the seismic energy radiated by the earthquake so the magnitude is measured in Richter scale which measures the seismic energy radiated by the earthquake while the intensity is a measure of damage how much damage to the property is caused and generally it is represented on the basis of Mercoli scale so seismicity we have two parameter energy which is denoted in magnet which measures the magnitude on Richter scale and we have intensity which measures the damage of property and on Mercoli scale so these are the two things now we will be going into detail of these scales so first one is the Mercoli intensity scale which measures the damage generally the Mercoli scale so Mercoli intensity scale if you talk about so this scale correlate the intensity of an earthquake by the amount of damage it caused then how much damaging an earthquake and it correlates with the intensity of the earthquake and this scale generally varies from scale 1 to 12 so if we see the scale 1 scale 1 is generally detected by only sensitive seismograph like very very sensitive seismograph instruments can measure the scale 1 earthquake on Mercoli scale then scale 2 it is detected by a person lying on the first floor above the floor of a building so the person can sense then scale 3 we see gen generally rattling of windows right whenever the window rattling is there we call it as scale 3 Mercoli earthquake then scale 12 this leads to catastrophic damage to everything so scale 12 is the worst class of earthquake and if we talk about the weakness of this scale so it is not accepted universally it is not a universal scale this is the weakness of Mercoli scale that is not a universal scale and is not accepted universally now another important scale is Richter